Uh, hey everyone, my name is David McCluskey and I'm a solutions engineer with the Google Maps API team. So as a solutions engineer, I work with Google's uh, top customers and partners to help them solve their business problems with the power of the Google Maps APIs. So as Monica and Paul mentioned, location intelligence has become increasingly important to businesses of all sizes. Uh, but only now are they really available to businesses of any size. So, so you don't need to be an Uber or an Amazon to take advantage of location intelligence. Um, any startup, any company um, can take, um, can build a platform on Google Maps um, through the Google Maps API. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the APIs that Paul showed you on the previous slide, how they can be used in a real life situation. So I'm going to show you a demo today that demonstrates how a small company can use location intelligence. Um, this is a fictional, co uh, a fictional coffee delivery service called Coffee Pop. I'm going to show you how they could use the APIs to drive better engagement, streamline their operations, and deliver a, um, a, a more status, uh, greater satisfaction to their customer base. OK, so Coffee Pop. What is Coffee Pop? So this is a small, again, fictional coffee and cake delivery service. Um, I stress fictional because last time we had people trying to download the app on their phone and order coffee, and it wasn't, uh, wasn't working out for them. Um, so Coffee Pop, they brew coffee out of barista trucks. Uh, they have a bicycle riding workforce that delivers coffee and cake to people at their own uh, location on demand. And then they can move their barista trucks around to better optimize um, their service area to, to um, maximize the number of customers. So therefore, they needed to connect their customers, riders, and delivery um, uh, trucks together in real time to keep everyone informed about current operations and the itinerary and, and allow management to keep an eye on the entire operation. So to do this, they've built three separate applications, one for the customers, one for the riders, and one for the managers. So what does the management team do? So, so they have an app to view and improve the real-time performance of their entire operation in real time. The customers have an application so they can place an order for coffee and cake at their location. And then the delivery riders have an app so they know when there's an order ready and to get routed to the customer. So I'm going to show you how each one of these applications can be built with the Google Maps APIs. All right, so this is our management dashboard. So this provides a view for management into the entire operation of their business. So we have things here on this dashboard like customer satisfaction scores, the number of active orders, the percent of orders that are late or behind schedule. I can see recent feedback. You know, someone says three stars, my coffee was on time. Someone says one star, you were three minutes late. I can also view a map. So this map gives me a live, real-time view into everything that's going on in my delivery zone. So what I have here in the middle, this icon here represents my barista truck. This is where we're, we're brewing the coffee. So I can click on it, and I can view our entire delivery service area. So this polygon here represents um, it's what we call an isochrone. It's everywhere you can drive within uh, 15 minutes in this case. So we want to set up a, a delivery zone in real time um, to ensure that all of our customers can be serviced within 15 minutes. So we're using real-time traffic data to generate this in real time. Uh, let's look at some of these other icons and what they represent. So here we have a uh, delivery rider. I can click and zoom on him. So this is uh, one of our, our, our bicycle riders. And I can view uh, what his current task is. So he's right now tasked to uh, go pick up coffee at the Brista truck and then deliver it to this customer over here. Um, I can also see these icons. You see the little happy faces. And if I zoom, yeah, there's some frowns over here. These are customers that have already been uh, serviced but are either you know, happy or unhappy. So I see over here I have a couple unhappy customers. So then I want to dig down and try to investigate you know, why, why were these customers unhappy? Were they, was their orders wrong or maybe they were late? And I can bring in other layers of information, other sources of information to try to analyze what went wrong here and better understand the situation. So one thing I can do is I can turn on a real-time traffic layer right here in the app. And I can view real-time traffic conditions to see if maybe that's impacting um, our, our service in this area. Maybe I need to change our, our service area a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to show is now what the Coffee Pop experience looks like 
from the perspective of a customer, from a mobile app. So here I have a iOS application. This is built with the Google Maps SDK for iOS. And in this case, what the customer would be doing and interacting with this experience is, um, is dragging the uh, pin around here to indicate where they want their coffee delivered to. Typically, this is just going to be their existing location. So we could get the location from the device and say, this is where I want the coffee delivered to. But perhaps you know, you're on your way to the park, and you want your coffee delivered there. So you can move the, the map pen. Now, the interesting thing here is the number you see here at the bottom of the screen. So this is the time estimate. Now, a lot of things are going into this time estimate. Um, it's the amount of time that it's going to take the delivery rider to get to the barista truck the amount of time it's going to take to process the order and then get that order over here to the customer. And so it's doing an assignment uh, from the orders to the uh, delivery riders in, in, in real time and in an automated fashion behind the scenes. So there's no dispatcher here involved. This is all just happening in an automated fashion. So now that I know my time estimate, I can click to place my order. I can say I want some coffee, some cake. I can click Confirm. It's been assigned to a delivery rider. I can see a map. I get a time estimate, and I can click Order Now. And then now I can monitor um, in real time that delivery driver as they come to deliver me my coffee. So I can see what's going on here. OK. And then I will now show you the third application. So this is the application that the delivery riders uh, would, would have with them on their mobile phone. So in this case, this is an Android-based application using our Android API. So the first thing that it would do is detect that the delivery rider is inside one of the active um, Bristed truck delivery zones. And once it is, once that rider is there, they're allowed to sign into the application. And instantly, they're matched up with a job that's, that's waiting for them. So they can accept the job and they can view the, the active job. And in this case, it doesn't necessarily make the most sense just to be assigned to one delivery job, it could be several. So you want to go to a barista truck, pick up several orders, and then deliver them all. So our directions API is being used here behind the scenes. And what that's doing is actually doing waypoint optimization. So it's routing them in the most efficient route to these multiple destinations. Uh, they can view the, um, oh, the, first I need to select a job, activate the job, yes. It's, it's doing a variation of the traveling salesman problem. So in this case, it's, it's one, um, one worker and up to, um, you know, we can do up to several dozen waypoints in this. It's not doing, um, um, you know, hundreds or thousands of, of waypoints, which becomes very computationally in intensive. But um, with a smaller subset, yeah, we can do that. Um, so so with the driver's giving a route. And then he was giving the set of directions to go to and do those multiple deliveries. Um, and when the deliveries are done, you, you can mark them as, as complete. Um, or what you can do is actually use the location from the device itself. So if it was actually traveling around, it could detect that the driver has entered into the same zone as the customer location and said, hey, that delivery's been made. Mark those jobs as, as complete. So, this is just a few of the ways you could take advantage of the Google Maps APIs to build out an entire business um, in an automated fashion. So it doesn't require much infrastructure. You know, it doesn't require servers. It doesn't require data centers. You can build this all in the cloud um, with just a few applications um, and, and really power your business with location.